In the 14th question, we have linear upon x plus 2, the x minus 1 upon x plus 2 whole square, right? How do we integrate this? So, integration will not be difficult, right? This 3x minus 1 upon x plus 2 square can be simplified with the help of conversion into partial fractions. And uh, what will be the partial fractions? a upon x plus 2 is one of the terms plus b upon x plus 2 square is what you'll get, right? That is the partial fraction that you'll get. By the way, this kind of question can be solved, can be solved using a very easy approach. And what is that? You can write 3x minus 1, try to write 3x minus 1 as x plus 2, right? Try to convert this into x plus 2. So 3 times x plus 2 is what I get. Okay, 3x is taken care of plus 6 and we have to go up till minus 1. So this will be minus 7, right? If you write this in the numerator and you have x plus 2 square in the denominator, do you observe that this is the form that you are looking for in partial fractions, yes? This x plus 2 gets cancelled with this. So you get 3 upon x plus 2 and minus 7 upon x plus 2 whole square. This is what you are looking at, right? So if there is only x plus 2 whole square in the denominator, there is a linear term in the numerator, then you can follow this kind of approach, which will be very, very simple. Yes, yes. What else? So we can use that kind of approach. In general, competitive exams apply, allow us to use that kind of thing. But here, here we'll have to use the general method. And what is that? Let's write the numerator and compare the numerators. A times x plus 2 plus b is what I get, right? And comparing the coefficient of x, 3 is equal to a. Comparing the constant term, minus 1 is equal to 2a plus b. This is what you'll get. And that tells me b is equal to minus 1 minus 6, which is minus 7. Is that okay? Yes, b is equal to minus 7. a is equal to this. Okay, what else? So, in the 14th question, we have 3x minus 1 upon x plus 2 whole square. And uh, we have converted them into partial fractions. Therefore, integral i will be equal to integral of 3 upon x plus 2. And b is minus 7. So, minus 7 upon x plus 2 square with respect to x. This is what we are supposed to integrate. 1 upon x plus 2, the integral is very simple. This is 3 times log of modulus x plus 2. Okay, minus 7 is okay. 1 upon x plus 2 whole square is similar to 1 upon x square, right? So 1 upon x square, the integral will be equal to minus 1 upon x. That becomes minus 1 upon x. This is what you get, right? Plus constant. And yes, that is my required answer for this particular question over here, as you can see. You could have moved in this direction and then directly here as well. That is also okay. But this is the approach that will follow for the board examination. The NCRD people love this. Right? That's all in this question.